Here's the Drive XLR8 again. And this is zoysia grass here. And then this is the torpedo grass that's growing that was sprayed a week ago. You can see it's kind of yellow. Um, it's kind of hard to remove. Here's some dollar grass that's sort of being nuked out too. But Drive XLR8 is a selective herbicide. And it may take three applications to kill off this torpedo grass in the zoysia. It takes time. Where you can, you can dig this stuff out. Um, there's rhizomes under there, so it's very difficult to remove this selective herbicide. You can use to go through and remove uh, torpedo grass in zoysia. It probably takes at least three applications. You know, you can do that three or four weeks apart, and then you may have to wait a half a year and try to do it again. You don't want to go too crazy with it because you can hurt the zoysia. Plus, um, it's very difficult to remove. But you can see here, this is kind of like got some browning going on, and here's the Gria zoysia, nice and green. And the undesirable torpedo grass here is turned kind of pinkish red. And that's with Drive XLR8 that's been sprayed on here a week ago. Um, when you that works somewhat in the leaves, some of it goes into the soil. So the grass clippings, even when you cut the grass, you probably need to leave them in place because some of the killing is due to the grass clippings. It will kill dollar weed here. It just takes some time to do. If I go over here. You can notice a lot of this dollar weed here is slowly going away after a week, it's turning yellow. If you go too heavy on it, the zoysia grass will kind of turn yellow for a while. Okay, this selective herbicide, Drive XLR8, it works to kill torpedo and zoysia, but uh, unless you use the adjuvant called methylated seed oil, mixed with it, uh, you're kind of just wasting your money because this stuff actually helps uh, the selective herbicide work a lot better. And I tried it without it and that's just not going to work. And so it helps the uh, this half gallon of uh, Drive XLR8, I want to say it was around 70, 80, 80 bucks, pretty expensive. Uh, you don't need very much, but the methylated seed oil that's added to that, uh, I believe it helps open the pores and also somehow it, uh, it's like a catalyst. I don't know, I'm not a biologist to explain how it works, but if you don't, you think you're saving money by don't using it, you're going to be disappointed. Um, that's Drive XLR8, which is a selective herbicide that's used to kill, uh, say, torpedo grass, crab grass. It'll actually kill St. Augustine, too, so you got to be careful what you're using it in. But uh, I use that to kill torpedo grass in zoysia, and then this is the adjuvant, I believe how you pronounce it, called methylated seed oil that you add. I think you use about half of this compared to the amount of that. Uh, I keep the instructions away because the stuff's a little bit kind of... It smells weird. It smells like fish oil. You need to use some protective equipment. Make sure you wear some gloves and uh, some decent boots and stuff. But I use that to kill the uh, torpedo grass in zoysia. You need to go ahead and be patient because you need to cut the grass and go through and wait several days and then spray it and then probably not cut it for another, you know, three or four days to a week. And then you got to wait a couple of weeks and then probably need to, you know, put another hit. You're not going to get all of it. Uh, you're dreaming if you think you're going to try to remove torpedo grass and zoysia or anything like that with one hit. There isn't such a thing. So just uh, mechanically, if it's solid uh, torpedo grass, you just nuke it with Roundup. If you got stuff that's um, mostly torpedo grass, you still might as well nuke it with Roundup. Where you've got a good stand of zoysia, you can use something like Drive XLR8 
uh, mixed with an adjuvant, and then, you know, you need to go through about three applications over a month, probably a couple months, and you'll get a good bit of it. It might take, you know, a year or two because there are going to be some uh, pieces are going to pop up. You've got rhizomes that are deep down in the soil, and they're going to pop up again, so you got to be careful. You're not going to get the whole thing. Um, in the past, they used to use a thing called MSMA that was used, and I'll show you real quick what that looks like. Uh, this type of stuff is what people used to use. Um, image, MSMA, uh, it kills crabgrass, other grassy weeds in things like torpedo grass, and then there was another brand called Green Light. And there was all different types of brand. This has kind of been banned. It's got a arsenic type acid in it. Uh, you got to be really careful with this because if you go a little bit too hot, you're going to go ahead and burn the grass. And a lot of places this is not available anymore or it's been banned. I still use this every blue moon. You got to be careful. You don't want to have this drain off into the water. Uh, where there's fish or you know turtles and stuff so it's something it's it's I really don't really use it very much anymore but uh, the drive XLR8 tends to be a little bit more uh, user friendly more better from the environment than the MSRMA, MSMA which is a uh, basically an arsenic uh, type salt and this has been used for years and actually came out to work on cotton. And we used to have some, God, 30 years ago we used to use. Now if you use something like this all the time, what's going to happen is your grass is going to mutate, if you can believe it, and be kind of immune to it. So you don't want to use something like this year after year, or even like the new drive stuff year after year, because it's just not going to work. So a lot of times I use something like this, and I won't use something for years and years anymore. This has actually got a reprieve to it. You got to check what the local laws are. Uh, they used to sell this at Home Depot. I'm not sure if they even sell it. They sell some on eBay. But you got to make sure you local laws. Uh, for trying to get rid of torpedo grass in Zoysia, I'm kind of more, you should probably use something like the Drive XLR8 by Bassif, which is a quinchloric uh, type stuff. You got to be patient because it's not, there's nothing really going to try to remove torpedo grass uh, real quick and so it's basically one a lot of people say you can just move and there's a lot of uh, a lot of sense to that because it's a very frustrating thing to try to remove okay here I've used drive XLR8 herbicide it's a selective herbicide with clin quinloric I believe what you call it and here's torpedo grass. So I've sprayed this a week ago because I don't want to have to dig this up. And uh, it's got a little bit of yellowing going on over here. So that's using Drive XLR8, trying to hit torpedo grass. Uh, if it's close to the zoysia, I end up using the selective herbicide here to try to knock that out. Here it is over here. I've sprayed it. And it's got a little bit of yellowing going on. It'll probably take several sprays to kill that off because you got the rhizomes down in there. I've sprayed some over here just as an experiment. You can see it's sort of yellowed in here. It'll probably take three applications to kill that off. Anyways, that's Drive XLR8. Uh, areas that are real far away from the zoysia, I just use Roundup.